Hello, outside with my dog again. I'm a little further from the town and the sky is pretty nice. There is a sun shining through the clouds. There are hills in the far. It looks pretty awesome. I was thinking about many, many different things, but the main topic of my thinking was essentially time. And it was from various perspectives. First, I was thinking about how a place can completely lose its value, its virtual value, because of the effects of time. Imagine, for example, a grave of an influential person, for example, a scientist or a serial killer, whatever, till everyone who was affected by that person would be alive, that place would essentially have the highest value, you know, because those people would know who that person was, what he did, he could have even personally affected them, so they would have the highest amount of respect or disrespect to that grave. And they would value that place. They would consider it either sacred or cursed, depending on the person buried and the ethical value system of that certain civilization. When this generation of people dies, then what would be left will be people who know about that dead person only from that dead generation, like from their fathers and mothers, or from books, from teachers, and so on. So they are no longer as affected by that person. Therefore, that place would have a little lower value for them. They can still respect it and disrespect it, and there will always be people who think of these places as very important regardless of the time they were created in. But I guess you get the point. The further the generation, the lower the effect of that place. And, you know, memory doesn't remain. Therefore, if everyone who knows about that person person who it was, either from books or directly, dies. And there would be no documents left that would document the actions of that person or just who it was, then the value of that place would be lost forever. For any other generation that would find this place, it will be just some random grave. And one day, your grave will most likely also be just a random grave. Well, if there will be your grave, because graves are also not forever. Then I was thinking about the furthest future possible. Usually when I'm talking about some topic that includes time, I get to a point where I say that everything will be fucked one day because of the universe and its end. You might know that there are more ending scenarios. The one I was thinking about was endless expansion. Our universe expands and it expands faster and faster. One of these scenarios says that it will expand even faster and faster in the future, meaning that the temperature in that universe will naturally get lower and lower till it gets to a point where everything basically reaches the point of absolute zero and the whole universe will be frozen. And I was thinking, if you had a time machine that would allow you to travel into the future and somehow keep you not frozen, and you would visit this place, how would it be? I guess there would be, like, darkness around you, everywhere. I'm just thinking, like, trying to imagine it. Try it with me. You are now here, most likely in the 21st century, that's the time I live in. You get a time machine, either from Emmett Brown or you build your own. You type some crazy high number, like 100 trillion, year 100 trillion, and then you push go. You would disappear and appear on the same place but you must consider the expansion also on the same place, but in year 100 trillion. I'm not sure whether that would be already a year where everything is frozen, but you get the point, I guess. And there would be no Earth anymore. No, there will most likely be just completely empty space, and everything's gonna be frozen. There will be no one and nothing will be moving. Everything will just stay, because it will be completely frozen. And then you will realize that everything you did, everything anyone did, everything anyone created or tried or found out is essentially doomed and is lost forever and can never be found again. Because this universe is completely dead. And everything inside it is also dead. It's a pretty overwhelming imagination. 
but it's very interesting and who knows maybe this is not the right scenario but this brought me to my view of time whenever i talk about time and i think about time i think of it as of a something that has its beginning and its end of something that moves from point a to point b that means the big bang and then whatever ending scenario of universe is right but maybe maybe this is just how we perceive time because our perception works this way and how you might know from psychedelics and various disorders our perception is not universal it can change it can change a lot even your perception of time can change and get delighted as well as your perception of space therefore maybe this is not even the right approach to time and everything might exist in one single moment whatever means a moment and we just go through it or perception goes through it i would like to say that still even if it is like this then you can basically imagine the whole time as some i don't know dot or ball like not not a line from a to b but something that's in a circle but it also would exist for a while and then get destroyed by whatever ending scenario of universe is right however this statement makes no sense because i can't operate with the concept of time outside of time itself uh, i don't know whether you still catch up it's like this with the big bang the time started to exist as well as space and matter and everything our concept of everything there can be another everything that surpasses our concept of everything i can't simply say that time would be something that would exist for a while and then get lost because when i say this i operate with time see we have reached a point where we no longer have words to describe what i want to say this is pretty interesting